Hey everybody, this is George Whittem reporting for Whittem's World here at NAMM Show 2017. We drove all the way from Los Angeles, pretty much, to see one thing. And that's, that's this really innovative device from Sound Devices called the Mix Pre. There's the Mix Pre 3 and the Mix Pre 6. And here to share, us, share a little bit about it. This is not just any spokes model for Sound Devices. This is the guy that designed this thing. This is Paul. How are you doing, Paul? I'm good, George. Thanks for chatting with me. And I do w would like to say that I'm not the only one that made this, right? It's a big team effort. You didn't make that in your basement? <laughs> uh, yeah, I hand-knitted one last night, you know. Now, these are a big team effort. I'm one of the key designers, I'm responsible for the user interface, but obviously there's a massive hardware, firmware, mechanical engineering design team, and then all the infrastructure that supports that. So yeah, thanks for uh, inviting me and to be able to talk about these. Well, the reason that I was excited about this for a few reasons, I, I love Sound Devices products, so I have a history with using them. Uh, the 302 mixer, the USB pre's, I've always loved them. And this thing adds just the, a lot of functionality and for voice actors, which is our world, the ability to do a really unique thing, which is record a backup internally while at the same time recording to your software, that's something that just doesn't exist elsewhere. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Do a little tour of the unit physically, and then we'll, go, we'll, we'll talk about just that. Give a little bit of background first, because you guys are obviously interested in high sound quality, right? Yes, very much. So, Sound devices are well known in the TV and film industry for producing the highest quality mic preamps and the best build quality. Products that can stand up to the rigors of everyday, everyday environments, abuse and what have you. So what we wanted to do is bring that, that quality level to the, a wider market. Because traditionally our products have been priced up there. Sure. So we wanted to bring some products out which could be accessible by a wider market at sub $1,000. And we wanted to appeal to like voiceover artists, videographers, podcasters, musicians, sound designers, sound effects, production sound mixers as well who want to supplement their kit with a few extra inputs or whatever, but a much wider audience. And we've achieved that. We've These are solid die-cast aluminum chassis build. I mean, you can literally drive a truck over these. And the mic preamps, there's no compromise on these. They're a brand new design really low noise floor, minus 130 dBV, A-weighted, you know, 32-bit ADCs with a great dynamic range of 120 dB. You know, it's all discrete component design. There's no off-the-shelf ICs in here. You know, to achieve those figures, you need to go discrete. That's unusual. Like a lot of the other products, they share a lot of common, you know, IC chips. And so you guys design this thing from the ground up. Right. And the other key thing about this, we really wanted to design a tool where the tech didn't get in the way. We wanted it to be really um, intuitive and not um, over cluttering the mind. So you can see from the interface, it's very minimalist. You know, it's just three volume knobs and uh, transport buttons. They're the things you use most often, right? Um, the touch screen allow, this is a touch screen by the way, I can actually power it on. Um, the touch screen allows us to put, uh, remove all the less used features and put them in, a, an, in another interface. But they're still all very very simple to access so if you're familiar with an iPhone you're easily going to be able to navigate this product it's so easy so this is as you mentioned just before this is a multi-channel recorder it records internally to an SD card and it's, it's behind the battery pack so you can see here there's a battery pack and that resides in the back here okay you can record multi-channel you can call the individual channels as isolated tracks but also a mix at the same time. So in this case, this is a three channel device, so it's a five track recorder, and it can record up to 96K. This is a six channel device, there's four XLRs, TRS combos, and then you've got further two line inputs here on unbalanced. So this is a six input, eight track recorder that goes up to 192 kilohertz. Um, so they're the main differences between the two units. Um, so the key here was recording, multi-channel recording, mixing, but also it's a multi-channel USB audio device. And that can actually work simultaneously while still recording to the internal media. And that is a unique feature and it opens up all sorts of po possibilities for backup. You know, you just mentioned this podcast scenario where you're doing a long, t not podcast, a voiceover scenario where you're recording a long take to uh, what have you in the, the computer corrupted the file somehow, knowing it's on here as well is great. 
opens up all sorts of other opportunities like with uh, podcasters who want to bring in voice over IP via their computer, Skype or FaceTime, whatever application you use for that, route that USB source from the computer to a fader and now you can mix those contributor sources with your own local mic. You can press the channel buttons here to set up each input. You don't have to deep dive into a menu, so it's very fast, very immediate. You don't need a user guide with this thing. Let's talk about some powering aspects of this as well. So this is obviously an anywhere, anytime product. It can be used in a studio or it can be used out in the field. Um, we have this four-way battery pack, um, four AAs, nickel metal hydros that go somewhere between two and three hours. We also have an eight-way, um, eight AA battery pack, which doubles the duration to five to six hours. And then there's a dual L Sony L mount battery pack, which could power it for up to a week, depending on the size of the batteries you're using. That's the battery we have on this light over here, I think, actually. And then on top of that, you have your USB-C. Now, I don't think there's any other device in this category which uses USB-C. This obviously is our USB audio interface to a computer, Mac or Windows, but it also powers the device. Um, it's a great companion for the new MacBook Pros. Really nice, because with the USB-C, but it can also be powered from a USB-A port on a computer as well. This automatically detects the power from the power source and will tell you and allow you to either switch to batteries or allow you to disable certain features. To power this fully with three phantom mics at 10 milliamp per phantom, uh, per phantom, a USB, an old USB one source is not going to have enough power. So in that case, it will automatically disable the phantom on one of the channels. Still get two fan condensers in there, so it's great. Another cool feature of this baby is the built-in Bluetooth. So you can control it from your iPhone. I have an iPhone app. So get some signal level going. So now you can see your meters, and you can, I can swipe that way, as bigger meters. See different meter views, you can record, stop, and then I can even name files from here as well. So it lists me all the files, and then I can select a file and rename it or what have you fantastic sounding headphone amp it really is a wicked out full range it's got a really musical sound to it and it's got a lot of drive so my question is when you need tech support and you call sound devices is you are you the guy i'm going to talk to no <laughs> <laughs> no we've got a whole team that uh, uh, we have a dedicated tech support team who are active 24 7 we also you know always you can always get a human on the phone and we have uh, great forums, Facebook pages that people constantly post to. And usually within minutes, people answer on that. You know. Well, if, when it's, if it's not us, it will be the other users who are using the product. So. Good point. When can we get it and how much? Um, okay, so May the 15th, we're expecting to deliver. Maybe sooner, but May the 15th is what we're saying right now. Um, the Mix Pre 3 is $649. And the Mix Pre 6 is $899. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, I'm looking forward to, we're going to get one in to demo in, in studio and really put it through its paces, so I'm looking forward to that. Really nice to talk to you, Paul. Congrats on the new product. It's really exciting. Thanks. Boom. <laughs> Thanks, George. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> this is George Woodham from NAB 2017 at the Sound Devices booth.